As Hollywood's golden age drew to a close, tragedy struck the silver screen with the sudden and shocking death of Lupe Velez, known to her fans affectionately as the Mexican Spitfire. With a fiery personality and a talent for commanding the screen, Velez was a beloved actress. Her life was tragically cut short in a manner that stunned the world. Faxverse presents the tragic death of Lupe Velez, the Mexican Spitfire. Maria Guadalupe Villalobos Velez, known professionally as Lupe Velez, led a dramatic life right from the start. She was born July 18, 1908, in the Mexican town of San Luis Potosi, reportedly during a violent storm. Though her origin story is somewhat unclear and disputed, her early years were supposedly spent accompanying her father, Jacobo Villalobos Reyes, a military colonel in the armed forces of dictator Porfirio Diaz, to various battles of the budding Mexican Revolution. This experience made her fearless. As a young girl, Lupe developed a love for acting and began putting on shows for her family's servants at around age 10. She'd sneak into local theaters to study how actresses dressed, did their makeup, and performed. Her parents soon became concerned about her flirtatious behavior and shipped her off to a convent in San Antonio, Texas when she was 13. She continued to make mischief at the convent and returned home after her father went missing in action. To support her family, Lupe worked for a while before pursuing her passion for the stage and screen. She began performing at local theaters, and her physicality, charisma, and ability to improvise set her on the path to stardom. After catching his eye, an American actor named Richard Bennett invited her to try her hand in Hollywood, but her early days were a bit disappointing. Bennett had invited her to star in his play The Dove, but in the end decided to go with another actress. He later introduced her to several of his Hollywood associates, though, which led to Lupe being cast in her first feature film in 1927. Her rise to fame was during the Anything Goes Jazz Age in Hollywood, which was notorious for being a golden era of hedonism. The Hollywood party scene was awash with passionate love affairs, compelling criminals, and other miscellaneous sketchy conduct. Fitting in quite well with these vibes, Lupe was a regular fixture in this scene, and her fiery personality and beauty made her a popular choice for leading roles in films. Despite being typecast in ethnic stereotypes in the majority of her roles, her exceptional charm and temperamental character made the films that earned her the nickname The Mexican Spitfire into roaring commercial successes. She notably starred in films such as 1927's The Gaucho, sharing the screen with Douglas Fairbanks, and 1929's The Wolf Song alongside the legendary Gary Cooper. Velez's Later Film Highlights After starring in The Wolf Song, Lupe continued to appear in films throughout the 30s and 40s, solidifying her reputation as a beloved actress in Hollywood. Some of her most notable later films include 1932's Congo, an adventure film directed by William J. Cowan, in which she played Tula, a woman who runs a bar in the African jungle. Paluka, a 1934 comedy directed by Benjamin Stoloff, saw her play Nina Madero, the love interest of boxing champ Joe Paluka. It was based on the popular comic strip of the same name. In the 1934 drama Laughing Boy, directed by W.S. Van Dyke, Lupe starred alongside Ramon Navarro as a Native American couple in New Mexico. Her performance earned critical acclaim and a nomination for an Academy Award for Best Actress in a Supporting Role. In Where East is East, a drama directed by Mervyn Leroy, Lupe played Toto, a Japanese woman who falls in love with a British officer in colonial India. Finally, The Girl from Mexico, a 1939 comedy directed by Leslie Goodwins, saw Lupe reprising her role as Carmelita Fuentes, a character she had played in several previous films. The film was part of a series of comedies that followed the adventures of the vivacious and tempestuous Carmelita. These films, among others, demonstrated Lupe's range as an actress and her ability to bring her signature charm and personality to a variety of roles. Velez's Tragic Death Although she's often considered to be one of the most influential and talented actresses of her day, her personal life was marked by tragedy and turmoil. Her struggles with mental health and addiction are well documented. She had a reputation for being tempestuous and volatile, both on and off screen. 
Her marriages were tumultuous, and she was known for her passionate affairs with both men and women. She was married several times, but none of her marriages were successful. She struggled with alcoholism, which likely worsened her mental health issues. She was also known to abuse prescription drugs, which were readily available in Hollywood during the time she lived there. These substances ultimately played a grisly role in her untimely death. It's worth noting that during her lifetime, mental health was not well understood or openly discussed. Many people who struggled with mental health issues were not diagnosed or treated, which likely contributed to the severity of their symptoms. Velez's romantic disappointments and personal crisis, exacerbated by what is thought to be an undiagnosed bipolar disorder, led her to take her own life at the age of 36. Pregnant and abandoned by her final lover, she saw no way out but to end her own life. On the night of December 13, 1944, she poisoned herself by ingesting a fatal quantity of sleeping pills in her Beverly Hills home. Accounts of her final night differ, but it's widely believed that she made a conscious effort to dress herself and her surroundings in opulence in an attempt to freeze-frame herself in glamour. Her body was found the next day dressed in her best blue satin pajamas, surrounded by candles and freshly cut flowers. A photograph from a book by Barbara Schroeder, claimed to be a police scene image, shows a woman lying in full evening dress and flower garland. While this image paints a rather melodramatic and even theatrical picture of Lupe's final moments, it's worth noting that it has been widely disputed as fake. The circumstances surrounding her death have been the subject of much speculation and controversy. Kenneth Anger's book, Hollywood Babylon, claimed that her plans to die looking serene, lying exactly as positioned on her bed, were thwarted when she became violently sick, eventually causing her to pass away with her head in the toilet. As grim and sensationalistic as that might sound, other biographers refute this claim as not just distasteful, but patently untrue. Her legacy as an actress and trailblazer for Latina representation in Hollywood endures to this day. She was a force of nature on and off screen, with a fiery personality that captivated audiences and Hollywood's elite alike. Her larger-than-life persona made her a beloved figure in Hollywood during the golden age of cinema, and her legacy has inspired countless actors and actresses in the decades that followed. Today, her story serves as a cautionary tale about the high price of fame and the toll it can take on a person's mental health and well-being. Her struggles with depression and addiction highlight the importance of mental health awareness and the need for greater support for those who suffer from these issues. It's evident Lupe's life and career were marked by a unique blend of talent, charisma, and tragedy. Her rise to fame during Hollywood's golden age, her larger-than-life persona, and her trailblazing role in Latina representation in Hollywood have cemented her place in cinema history. Now it's time to hear from you. What are a few of your favorite films that Lupe Velez appeared in? And in what ways do you think she paved the way for other Latina actresses? Let us know in the comments section below.